Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss another Microsoft Surface tutorial. Tutorial, and now look at basically the pen of it, and show just go over an overview, a brief overview on it. Basically, I recently bought this Surface Pro. It comes with a pretty good pen, and I like it a lot because uh, I'll be doing now uh, more math easy solutions. But basically, uh, when I'm on the go, I'll be using this tablet, which works really well. So if I scroll down, I'm using Office Word right now, the program, and uh, just so I could write on this, etc. So it, basically, the features of it, uh, you could learn uh, a lot about this in a Microsoft art a tutorial article. But uh, basically, I took some of the main points of it, and, and basically, it, it comes with uh, three features here. Basically, the the pressure sensitive pen over here, the pen tip, which you could write as pressure sensitive, so you can go light like this, and then thick if you press it. Hard. and if you don't press the screen you can move around like this like a mouse and also this one is a button here you could use it for right clicking if I click this x-ray to get out of the writing so then if I hold the button and then right it's a right click and then it has other stuff as well for different applications Let's scroll down like this go back to the pen and and also it has an eraser here so you could basically erase anything by just flipping it over and this erase, so I can erase this, which is pretty amazing, actually. That's the best part about it. You can easily erase stuff seamlessly. And basically, uh, this, this is just taken from the articles, pen tips, pressure sensitive for drawing, etc. The pen button. Um, yeah, basically, you could use to right-click and do other stuff. And also, uh, with this, you could uh, actually place it where the charger is. So there's a magnetic little port where you connect this button, and then you could basically keep your... Uh, pen on it when you're not charging and it's uh, it just sticks by uh, through magnets and also there's erasers just like a pencil eraser I just went over that and also you can do some flicks you could uh, turn these on or off or adjust what they do in the settings but basically uh, for example you can uh, let's see that you have to e exit the pen actually just go exit the writing so if I scroll up or down if I just do this it will go drag up and also, if you go left and right, it just changes the page back and forth. If there's other pages, for example, if I go to here, this folder, and go right or left, it just moves back and forth of wherever it went before. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. And also, uh, you could also use it. It's, it works really well with the Microsoft OneNote, uh, part of their new Office Suite program. And this is pretty amazing. And you could also just say right, right here, hello. And as you, as you can see, uh, up top here is supposed to be the title. But this automatically um, finds out what the word is. Actually, didn't write the H properly. Let's go hello. So this should come up over here in the untitled page. Just wait a few seconds. I think it should work now. Let's see, yeah. There, so there you go. It recognizes the word, and you can actually even search the hello in here, which is pretty amazing. And also, so for example, if I go here and, and type. So if I click this one to get the keyboard out, you can also use external keyboard. But if you want to write stuff with this pen you can even just do this and go let's go title so this is the place where it's supposed to be so as you can see it automatically corrects you can go insert or you can go like this and delete and make a capital or you can go let's say capital L over here you can just go over it T I and let's go small capital just to work it to see how it is and press insert there you go title and like that and this title has changed over here so this is pretty amazing. Well, anyways, that's yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna go over today. I just wanted to go over this and you can zoom in and out here to show the pressure sensitive a bit more. And this is pretty amazing uh, pen. I strongly recommend uh, you getting the Surface Pro or Surface Pro 2 uh, if you're thinking about using any Photoshop or something or or, or anything to do with the, with a pen or even take notes, which is amazing for note taking. I'm actually gonna do an, a later video on this OneNote program, which has basically replaced all my physical paper for note note taking, and it's pretty amazing. And I recommend you get this if you're thinking about getting a tablet PC. And it's a full PC, so you could do. Uh, most stuff you could do on your desktop. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned. Remember, you can always download these notes in the uh, Microsoft SkyDrive link below. I stopped using Dropbox. Uh, I'll explain why in a later video. And uh, basically, that's all for today. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another Math Easy Solution.